Hey, sorry, I had a technical problem. But this is where I stay. Here is the Hermitage, or Hermitage, or I don't even know how you say it, but this is where I stay, right, right in here in this little forest. And that's basically my view. Uh, but I'll take you up a little show you there's another big pachardia palm I, I love lolu palms if you can't tell um they're really awesome so i have this really beautiful alima that you can't really see because the every because the light the light's terrible but it's an alima and then i have this thing which i've seen in the nursery but i have no idea what it is and um there are a bunch of these in the nursery and they're not even labeled, so whatever. And then I have this ginormous Vicky Vicky that's just taking over the walkways, just trying to grow over the path. Um, so I just bushwhack through that every morning. And this beautiful Pawo Hiyaka, which lives on the ground, one of my favorite plants, so it's awesome that I get to like, just come out here and see it every day. And I have another Vicky Vicky right there, some koa, um, you can see those like katana shaped leaves. Oh, and I have a ton of, ton more Ilima here that you can see. But I said the other day that Ilima is edible, so, mmm, Ilima. And this is a giant lolu palm starting to kind of go out of control. Here's where I hang all my lays whenever I get them, just kind of like giving back. Because I guess whenever you get a lay, you either put the flowers in the ocean or you put them in the forest or something. Usually you take them off the string, but didn't do that because it's cotton, so it'll break down eventually over time. And here's some of my tools that I use <laughs> that I don't feel like taking back up to the Taj. And I planted, I planted some things in there, I don't know if you can see. Planted an Ohe Makai, which is that tree right there, and then some, um, oh god, what is it called? Plumbago for the ground cover. Oh, that, that thing, that, that thing that I can't remember, or that I couldn't remember the other day, I think it's called Coco Alao, um, that sunflower bush thing. So, that's, and here's, like, I have a screen so I can roll this up and down if I want to kind of like cool, cool the place off or just get like, oh god, this goes, or get, um, I don't know, cool, cool the place off or um, let, let some light in. And this is the Hermitage Road. So we have native species on both sides. This is a larger willy willy tree. Um, but you guys have already seen larger in Kalapapa. I don't know how old this one is, but they're doing a really good job. Now it's starting to get kind of windy, so it may, you may or may not hear me. That's the little trail that we went on when we looked at the stinkhorns. Um, but yeah, you just keep going. Here's some of the peely grass you already saw, and I'm totally going to eat another one of these because it's just so good. So. Yeah, so this is the the sunflowery thing. I think it's called Coco Alao. Um, but the pillow grass is pretty cool. So there's like some new seeds that are starting to come on. I don't know how good you can see them. And they have this structure that's called an on, and it's spiraled. And when the seeds uh, fall off the plant, all depending on the humidity, I forget how it works exactly, but the, the on corkscrews the seed into the ground, kind of like a geranium. So that's pretty cool. And this is our little, this is one of the wetland spots. Um, it's planted with lolo palms and lots of little sedges. And then we have some, this I think is this little grassy looking thing is makaloa. That's what the Hawaiian royalty used to use to weave their mats. Um, 
you can kind of see it right there. Um, and over here, this is uh, Marcelia, which is an endangered fern because there are only like four populations of it. And I think there are two populations on Molokai and then two populations on Oahu. I, for, I, I totally forget. Um, the intern that was here before me, Marion, she studied Marcelia. Uh, so she's just kind of like the world expert on it. So if you have any questions, you should ask her or like send me a message and I'll ask for you. Oh, this is a cool plant. Sorry, I just like taking plant breaks. Um, it's very hard for me to stay focused, I guess, on tours. But this is a sedge, and this is sandalwood. And the sedge and sandalwoods are usually planted together because um, sandalwoods are hemiparasitic, or, yeah, they're hemiparasitic, which means that they, uh, they require, um, to, they require the energy of other plants because they can't make any enough energy on their own. So for the first couple stages, my hair's just blowing all over the place. For the first couple of stages of their life, um, they have to parasitize other plant roots so that they can grow and do well. But as, as they get older, they do a lot better and, um, can be self-sufficient and so they stop parasitizing the neighboring plants around them. And this little structure I forgot to tell you about, this is the seed house, or not the seed house, the shade house. Um, and this is where we start a lot of the lettuce and um, so you can kind of see in there what so it looks like. I guess we could just walk in. There's the nursery again. So we've just done a like full circle of the ground. But, yeah. So this is the inside of the shade house, birdcage. Um, this is where Bronwyn and Kimo tend to live. Um, and anybody else that generally helps out with um, garden work. So that's about it. Um, whoa, spiders. There are a lot of spiders here, like, oh my god. Um, oh, and here's a little pineapple patch. I guess we didn't go down this way, but this is a part of where we like have our fruit. So we have a papaya tree. Well, actually, we have three papaya, four papayas, five papayas that are producing. And there goes chemo with a cart of stuff. Um, and these are pineapples. Uh, so a lot of people don't know how pineapples actually happen, but um, this one's actually flowering right now. So how lucky are we? Um, you can see the little, uh, bluish purple flowers. Um, so this is how they happen. They're in the bromeliaceae, so the bromeliads, and they have this aggregate fruit on top that comes out of the center, and that, that's going to become the pineapple. And usually they bud and sprout off new, new plants and you can get more fruit from them. But, yeah. So Kimo's the guy that we're going to get to do the garden tour whenever, whenever that happens. But, alright, I guess that's, that's really it. So, until next time, bye!